Welcome back to the Practice Sim Designer tutorial series. In this part, we will talk about camera control. If you have not seen the first video, I urge you to take a look at the first tutorial video that talks about the tool, introduce the user interface, and the editing capabilities. A key feature of Practice Sim Designer or any design tool is the ability to export the stage diagram so that you can use it in your written stage briefings. Uh, whether it's a PowerPoint, Word document, or PDF, be able to import the picture into your document and then incorporate that into your match booklet. And the way to do it is through camera controls. Uh, Practice Sim Designer has the ability for you to create multiple cameras and position them anywhere in the world and then be able to export that as images. And this is how you do it in Practice Sim Designer. What you do is you first go to a common position that you want so the most common position is right top looking down your stage like this and in order to create a camera if you look at the instructions on the right side to create a camera you hit backspace so if you hit backspace you can give your camera a name let's say top middle and now a camera is created and where do you see all these cameras you hit escape go over to camera control and now you'll see the list of cameras up here that were created I've created one called top middle uh, it's basically this and here from here I can position my cameras wherever I want so for instance if I hit left it goes to the left hit right I can go up I can raise and uh, lower the height I can go forward backward I can rotate uh, I can also yaw and then tilt the camera up and tilt the camera down I can zoom in zoom out or I can change the camera mode from perspective to autographic Autographic cameras are what uh, SketchUp uses, so you can actually see what that looks like. I personally don't like this look. I prefer the perspective look because it's more realistic. Some of the controls here are things like toggle cell shade. Cell shade basically applies an outline to your target and it saturates the background so that your targets will pop. So if I turn on cell shade, as you can see now it's much clearer. You can also simplify your background by clicking this and it just basically applies a wide out to all your backgrounds. And this is great because normally when you print, it saves you a lot of ink this way because white doesn't get printed, right? So sometimes when you want to print, if you have a very dark background, you waste a lot of ink pr printing that out and it's probably hard to see your targets as well. Uh, you can also disable cell shade and print it out this way. These are some of the handy tools that you have. You can also toggle top 2D view. So if you look at it from the top or you prefer to view it from a perspective view. Uh, obviously you can create more cameras. And so for instance, if I go out here and I move to a different position, let's say I want one from the left side, I'll just create a new camera called left. And maybe I want one from the right side that's really close up like this, right? And then I create another one right close. Now when I go back to camera control, you see that now I have multiple cameras that I can and switch to. And for each camera, it also retains the cell shade settings and perspective and the position. Another powerful feature of cameras is the ability to play an animation loop based on the camera positions they have defined. So I've defined, I have a default camera here, a top, middle, left, right, close. Let's say I don't want the default camera, I can delete it from the system by clicking on the minus. So now I have these three cameras, right? Top, middle, it goes to the left and then goes to the right and close. Let's say if I want to animate uh, from top to right, then to left, I can change the order of these cameras by using these controls over here. So let's say I go to right and I move it up into the list and now it is basically top, middle, right, close and then left, top. And all I have to do is just click on play loop. You can set the playback speed here and you can use the pause duration which will basically pause between positions. So let's say I have one second pause, five is the playback speed, ten is much quicker. So when I click on play loop, you see that you will start from the top middle, go over to the right, and then go over to the left. Like that. So this allows you to generate video files, uh, video previews of your stage designs for folks who have large matches, who want to spend the time to generate video files to show all the shooters and get, to get them excited about shooting a match. You can very quickly generate what this looks like and then save it as a video file uploaded to YouTube or just casually distribute it to the, all the shooters who are coming to your match. So that is camera control. Let's move on to the next module.